Darmstadt 2-5 Bayern Munich Harry Kane forced off injured after setting Bundesliga record with 31st goal. Report and highlights as Harry Kane scores 31st league goal to make Bundesliga history but goes off injured. Kane will still join up with England ahead of Brazil and Belgium games. Jamal Musiala scores twice after Darmstadt took lead as Bayern close gap on Bayer Leverkusen to 7 points. Harry Kane limped off injured after making Bundesliga history as Bayern Munich cruised to a 5-2 victory at bottom club Darmstadt. The England captain scored his 31st league goal to surpass U Sealer's record for the most in a debut season in the German top flight, but was later substituted after receiving treatment on the pitch having collided with a post just a week before he is due to face Brazil in a friendly at Wembley. Kane will still travel to join the England squad despite twisting his ankle, Bayern sporting director Christoph Fruind later confirmed. We are in close coordination. He won't take any risks, Fruind said. We hope that it's not that bad and that he'll be back on the pitch soon. Kane's landmark goal arrived after Jamal Musiala had cancelled out Tim Skark's shock opener for the hosts before Bayern scored three in the second half to close the gap on leaders Bayer Leverkusen to seven points. Musiala netted his second shortly after the hour mark with substitutes Serge Nabry and Mathis Tell adding the fourth and fifth, although Darmstadt's Oscar Wilhelmsen scored a late consolation. Manchester United kept their trophy hopes alive for this season and ended Liverpool's quest for four trophies with a dramatic extra-time victory in an FA Cup quarter-final classic at Old Trafford. In an incident-packed encounter, it was substitute Ahmed Diallo who sent Eric Ten Hag side to Wembley with a strike in the dying seconds of the additional period to send the Stratford end wild, the match winner then being sent off after getting a second yellow card for his celebrations. It summed up everything about this thriller. United manager Ten Hag doing a dance of delight as Diallo's shot flashed past Liverpool keeper Khan in Kelher. United's desire for a place in the last four at Wembley was illustrated in a fast start, which saw them take an early lead, Scott McTominay bundling home from close range in the 10th minute after Kellier had pushed out Alejandro Garnacho's shot. Kellier denied McTominay again from close range before the tie was turned on its head as Liverpool scored twice in three minutes on the stroke of halftime to take the lead and stun United. Alexis Mack Alistair equalized when his shot was deflected off Copy Maynou, United paying the price for allowing the excellent Jarrell Kwanzaa to race forward unchallenged to play in Darwin Nunes. And Mohamed Salah, the regular scourge of United, struck again swiftly with his 13th goal in 14 appearances against them, turning home in front of the Stratford end after Andra Onana saved from Nunes. Liverpool had the better of the opportunities after the break, but substitute Anthony drew United level three minutes from the end of normal time, with a low shot on the turn before Marcus Rashford then somehow steering a simple finish wide with the goal at his mercy to win the game. Substitute Harvey Elliott put Liverpool back in front after 105 minutes, his 20-yard shot taking a crucial touch off substitute Christian Eriksen to swerve tantalizingly out of the reach of Onana. It looked like the game was up for United but Rashford made amends for his earlier miss with another equalizer to set up that sensational final with Diallo the central figure. Eric Ten Hag's future as Manchester United manager was never going to be definitively shaped by one game, but even the taciturn Dutchman must have known how much was riding on the FA Cup quarter-final meeting with Liverpool at Old Trafford. A defeat would have only hardened belief that Ten Hag is not the right fit to take United forward within the revamped football structure being assembled by new co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe. A win might just be enough to persuade the rulers inside Old Trafford's hierarchy that Ten Hag is their man. And what a win it was after a head-spinning game overflowing with the ingredients Old Trafford loves. Manchester United's 4-3 victory was sealed in the dying seconds of extra time in front of the Stratford end, just like old times. This was the biggest and most spectacular result of Ten Hag's United career, and may just be the result that gives him a long-term future at Old Trafford. If United had lost then the noise surrounding him would have been deafening. Old Trafford instead rocked to the noise of the biggest celebrations the self-styled theatre of dreams has witnessed in years. Will it be a game-changer for Ten Hag? Only time will tell, 
but a victory of such significance will not do him any harm as Ratcliffe plots United's route forward. Mauricio Pochettino says fans need to trust the club. Mauricio Pochettino said Chelsea supporters do not need to trust him, but should trust the club after being on the receiving end of negative chance during the victory over Leicester in the FA Cup. The home supporters booed the decision to substitute Michaelo Mudrik instead of forward Raheem Sterling in the 78th minute, with some fans chanting, you don't know what you're doing. Sterling had missed a penalty and another good chance in the first half, then blazed a free kick wildly over in the second before Chelsea went on to win 4-2 and reached the semi-finals. We need to accept the situation, Pochettino said of the fans' criticism. It's like when I try to explain the situation of the squad, maybe I need to explain also to the fans. We need to accept it. That does not mean we agree or not agree, but we need to accept. Five minutes after Leicester defender Callum Doyle had been sent off with the game level at 2-2, Mudrick was replaced by Carney Chukwemeka, who scored to put Chelsea ahead in the 92nd minute. Sterling was taken off four minutes from time and his replacement, Nani Maduik, claimed a fine fourth goal in the eighth minute of added time to seal the success against the championship side. The fans in football live on expectation and always wanting the best for the club and the player, added Pochettino. When you don't match the expectation, that is the difficult thing for our fans to understand. I talked in the past. I am strong. I have no problem. We are going to keep moving in the same direction. I hope in the next game that the fans are always unconditional behind the team because we are representing Chelsea. We are in a process where we want to make our fans happy and we are going to try. I hope we can create that from now until the end of the season. We can create a good connection with the fans. I don't ask that they trust me. They need to trust in the club because at the end if I am here that is because of the decision of the club. It is not to trust in me or to trust in the players. It is to trust the club, that the club is doing or thinks is good for the club. It is about to trust in everyone, not only me. The reaction of the supporters towards Sterling threatened to bubble over after he missed a 26th-minute spot kick, having taken the ball from regular penalty taker Cole Palmer. Pochettino said Sterling asked Palmer to take the penalty and said he will always support the decision of his players. We need to support him. He's an amazing player, said the Blues boss. He has more than 10 years' experience in the Premier League. Of course, I think the contribution was good. He was a little bit unlucky with some actions where he should have scored, but we are a team and we need to be there for everyone. Fans are entitled to show their emotion. For us, we try to emphasize with our fans not to criticize. They want the best for our team and players, but we are in a project. We need support and to really believe. We are trying to build something. I know really well how to manage. What the fans want is to win the game and that we achieved. What the fans want is to go to Wembley and that we achieved. They need to trust me to manage in the way I think is the best way for the club. We need to respect their opinion as much as they need to respect my decision.